Liz was fun and smart and beautiful. She started experimenting, doing pills, and then fell into a different crowd. I did not know about opioids. And she died Thursday. All of those with this disease matter. My daughter Liz still matters. And all who have died still matter. Opioid addiction is a health care issue that knows no boundaries across age, race, class, or demographics. Today, after many months of hard work, I'm pleased to join Attorney General Maura Healy, Health and Human Service Secretary Mary Lou Sutters, and the members in the front two rows here of our 18-member working group to release a host of recommendations to address and combat the opioid epi epidemic that is plaguing our communities. They worked tirelessly over the course of the past few months to aggregate data, share information, research, and seek input from multiple regions of the Commonwealth to paint the most accurate and detailed picture of what the crisis looks like right here and now in the Commonwealth. There's a reason why this needs to be a priority for all of us, because, as the Governor said, we are in the midst of a tremendous public health crisis. The United States is less than 5 percent of the world's population, but we consume 80 percent of its opioids. Today's report is important. It will serve as a roadmap for how we can come together to address this crisis and get people the help that they need. As hard as the work has been to get here, now the real hard work begins, the work of implementing these recommendations. The Governor's Action Plan focuses on prevention, intervention, treatment, and recovery. First, as you've heard, we must educate our youth and parents about the potential danger of opioid use and misuse. Second, we must ensure that our prescribers have the tools and best information available for safe prescribing. Third, we know that those who become addicted to opioids will open medicine cabinets to feed their addiction. While our local communities and police departments have stepped up with drop boxes and take back days, we must do more and we will partner with pharmacies to pilot drug take back programs. Fourth, real time data is essential to track hotspots. Partnering with law enforcement, we will improve the timely reporting of state overdose death data and we will use that data to target our treatment interventions.